All right, what's up? This free guy. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick video. For uh, it was a guy asking. He is having problems putting his front wheel on on the uh, Tau Tau TBR seven two fifty dual sport. So I'm gonna just do a quick video show him how the speedometer right here. It got two little tongues on it. See one right here, one here on the other side. Those two tongues, you're going to line them up right in those two slots here and here. And it'll seat right in there. So before I do that, I'm going to put some grease on my hand real quick. So let's do that. I'm just going to grease this up since it'll be spinning inside there. I didn't do it the first time because I didn't have no grease. And I pretty much put the bike together on the back of my truck. So I just wanted to get it off. And uh, so I said I'd get back around to this. So now since I'm doing this video for my buddy, I'm going to add a little grease right now. Yeah, make sure I clean that off. Bit on the other side, and I'll show the other side too. Uh, Cause he wanted to know about the spacer also, so I'm gonna grab my phone and bring it to the other side in a hot second. But as far as now, I gotta sit this down. <laughs> okay, like I said. The Speedo, it's going to sit right in there. Those two tongues, one on each side of the, the Speedo, is two grooves for it right there on the wheel. You just sit them right in there. When you stick your rod through and screw it down, that's going to lock it in. So you ain't got to worry about that. You just got to keep it together. I'm doing this by myself if you can't see either. What I did, I just sit my bike on a five pound, I mean, you know, on a five gallon bucket right there. It's empty upside down, but... It's holding the bike up just fine. So if you ain't got no bike stand, a bucket work. If you got a full bucket of paint or something, even better. But so let's get that lined up just to show you how it sit right in. Just gotta line it up. It's gonna sit right in the slot where it's supposed to sit. Alright. So the other side I'm gonna just show you with the spacer real quick. Got my spacer right here. So your spacer gonna sit right in the big slot right here on the wheel. Boom. See that? It sit right in. On that side, on the side of the wheel, where the where your brake caliper at, that's the only place it's gonna fit anyway. It won't even fit on the other side. So then go back to the other side. You got your spacer sitting in right there on the wheel. So let's go back to the other side. Oh. Got the speedo. Lined up the tongues with the grooves in the wheel. Make sure you got it lined up. Now I'm doing this by myself, so be wary. I'm gonna make sure you get, when you pushing this through, you gonna have to. Line the forks up too. Shut up. Hunt dog when you got stuck. Alright. So if you got a buddy or something to hold that in or wife or whatever, all she gotta do is hold the speedo thing in place for you while you push this through. It'll be alright. I'm holding it with my legs as you can see. And uh got it halfway through. So I got the speedo locked in. Now you gotta make sure the forks. It line up correctly. Oh shit, and you know what? I ain't, I, I meant to go through the other side. Sorry about that. Oh. We call that a fuck up. Uh so speedo line back up. Let's make sure before I do this. Alright. 
tongs is in and they slot. Now, you want to push your axle pin through the side where the space at and the brake. At least I do it because that's the way the guy did it on the Hulk video. So I just pretty much copied off of him. But it did push through smooth as you can see. Boom, it's in there. Let me show you the other side. The side where your brake at. Try and get, oh. So I just pushed the, the axle rod right through, put some grease on it. Got the spacer right here next to it. Boom. Sorry about that. Right, back to this side. Get your nut on. And they got these slots right here for you to run your cables through. Can you see that? Let me see. Yeah. They got these on your forks to run your cables through to keep them from touching the wheel. It might look pretty close, but I've been riding it. It's been it's been alright. So I mean, only rode a few times, but it's been alright. So let's get that tightened up. Seventeen millimeter. your other little wrench for the other side to hold it don't drop the wrench Get it nice and tight. Check the brake. There you go. The little nut that came with it, I just put that on there too for backup. What the hell? Can't see it hurting it, I guess. So I just throw it on there. At least if it's going to come off, that wouldn't come off first. If you're paying attention to checking your stuff, you would notice the little nut came off. So <laughs> you can tell yourself something ain't right. <laughs> you know? Check the brake. We rolling. There you go. Front wheel. TBR7.